new single. Yes. Your new single that dropped on last night. And I would say February 10th, I'll give it a day. But last night I checked it out and I was like, wait a minute, SDM, SDM. Then I had to go, you know, online and look at my discography collection of a person that's related to you. And they also had an SDM. Right. So let me ask you this. When you were in the studio and you guys decided to do this, what was your take on how your song would be different from the legendary D'Angelo, the R&B guru? Um, when I was in the studio and I was working on this record, um, I kind I kind of was trying to take the the fact of it being my daddy just out the equation, and just really like, you know, take you know it's like a project like take take what I got given to me and you know make something out of it and I know I wanted to flip it. The bass line is crazy, so I know I wanted to flip it to some some like a club anthem. You know what I'm saying? And with so the, let's, let's talk music language. Yeah. So when you heard it, you were like, okay, we need to take out that snare and we need to add a little drum. We need to take out the bass. We need to add a little this. Tell me exactly what you told the producer so he could understand what you were trying to do. Um, I did this. Uh, uh, I did this record with a producer named Sean Penn. Um, so when we, me and him were pretty much brainstorming the record. Um, he was asking me what, what I want to do. I want to take it R&B. I want to take it hip hop. I want to take it trap. I'm like, I want to just make it a hit. I don't care what type of genre we do with it, but I definitely want to speed it up. You know, just speed the tempo up. Put a, it already got a natural bounce on it, but it's, the bounce is like this. I want to turn that bounce in, into this. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we did it, and it came out magic. So how many takes did it, did it go through? Did you say, okay? We gotta bring in somebody else. We gotta bring another producer. Do you want to collaborate with somebody, or did he just nail it? How many takes did it take? Yeah. You know my name. I know your name. Uh, you doing the one, hey, listen, it listen. One take, Twain. Yeah. No, not on one. Your one side. take, Twain. Listen, one take, Twain. This you don't take number no one take with me. Okay. You know what I'm saying, for sure. You know, you got the type of mom that even perfection is just not good enough. Right. She didn't stand it on there. So, did she try to alter the song and, and take you back in the studio with her people, or did you tell her I got it? Well, if you know, um, if you know my mama, you know she's like a super perfectionist. So, she was there with me oh, when okay. I when I did it. But, you know. Um, at first, she was trying to micromanage, and I can't really work like that. So I, I made one of the producers go get me a bottle of Henny so I could, so I could, you know, get in my vibe. And then when she, she ended up getting a phone call, she loved to run them out. When she got a phone call, I stepped out the room. Then I just went ahead and knocked the two verses out. Bef magic, yeah. yeah, before she could come and try to change it. And then by the end of the song, she was in the studio crying like, oh, my God, I didn't want him to do this. And he finally listened. He, you know, she knows she had to take credit for it, but, right. you know what I mean? So it was cool, though. Cool. <laughs> cool. Well, mom is going to be a mom. Yeah, it's, regardless. She's going to take credit for it, okay? Um, yeah. It was a song that I wanted to drop on Valentine's Day. It's called uh, CLB Whore. Um, you know what CLB is, right? Certified lover boy, you know you could be a lover boy and you can be a whore at the same time. It's just like it's, it's like it's love and hurt. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know it, it, it go together. What you know oxymoron? You know what I'm saying? Okay. But yeah, you know us men, we we be we be in love with like a couple different couple different girls at the same time. We wonder why it don't go right, but you know we doing wrong. We still got feelings too, and we still. Got to express that and get that out. So that's what that song was was all about. Well, I kind of get that because you know it takes about five different men to make one whole man. You know, it's the one you like to have conversation with, and then it's the one that goes. No, 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 no. It's the one that no. your emotions, and then it's the one that's a good lover. So you know, you gotta, you know, when we flip it, then it, see how you did when I try to flip it down your head, roll back. So when you had it your way, it was like yeah, they gonna work out. But see, but see, if you listen to the story, I would tell it in the song. I didn't go find a new girl to the to the the the, the previous. 
it, each one of the girls I spoke on on the song had a transgression and made me did what I did. Oh my God. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all already be having y'all line up set up before uh, the dude even do anything wrong. Okay, or if he do, or if he do do something wrong, y'all don't even communicate it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, right, right. Because what I'm not going to let you do is talk about my, my young sisters like that. Because I know you wasn't talking about me. So, back to S. Mm. Mm. What do you want your listeners to get from you as an artist? With the first song, you can know, say this song has got to be smashed, it's got to be a hit. So, when they hear this, what is the impression that you're trying to get listeners to, to know a little something about you? Sway, vote, sway. Hmm, what is the impression I want the fans to get from SDM? I never really thought of that, honestly. If 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 I could say, I wanted to be like, man, this dude hard. <laughs> this dude sliding on his beat, but nah. Um, the song is the song is a uh, creative. I took something classic and made something new, so I definitely want them to see uh, my musical mind. Um, you know, there's a couple bars in the song that's very comedic, so I definitely want to, you know, I, you're going to leave away from the song and be like, this dude crazy, you know, like, who thanks to this type of stuff? And, um, I just want to, I just want them to hear this and wait for the next song. Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question, I don't want you to be offended, do you have a writing team, or you just speak your own stuff? Man, I don't even write my own stuff, man. I just come out the mind with this. I come out the head with this, man. One take twain. You know what I'm saying? But I'm learning. So I used to always I'm I'm learning now that it's okay to collaborate with, with different, you know, producers and writers on the music and all that. But, you know, I ain't nobody just, you know, writing my rhymes or nothing like that. Like, I don't know.